Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to day 10 of the Shadowlands Gold Cap Challenge. And I thought I would start today with a cheeky bit of a Dark Moon card crafting. We spent 1.1 million gold, so we're going to do quite a big batch of cards. We have enough for almost 800 cards, and then we'll have more inks left over to do a few of the sort of extras if we have them so let's get crafting and see what we get okay so we are finally done that took a little longer than I expected but again we are at that 50% profit when we do this we always seem to be getting that which is just amazing so the value of all of these cards is 1.6 million we spent 1.1 million so that's uh, 500,000 gold profit uh, maybe 400,000 gold when you take out the auction house cut, but still pretty much you know 500k from a million just over a million spent is amazing So I'm going to send these over to my bank court, and we will try and get them sold and yeah I'm just gonna keep on doing this whilst it uh, remains profitable Look how tasty all of that looks in my uh, in my bags so good Okay guys, so Pretty much all of the tomes that I had yesterday have somehow sold. So what I thought I would do was make some more Tome Evolutions and some other Old World enchanting stuff. I'm also going to make a few of the weapon enchants that sell a lot because they have quite a nice amount of profit. As I always say to everyone, you just find something that works and you keep doing it. Do not worry that... Uh, you know, don't worry that you've done it before or whatever, just just do it. I worry more that I've done it before because I'm making a video and it's not fun to do the same thing over and over again. However, you know, I'm just following my normal gold making methods, which is if you find something that works, keep on doing it. I know I should have sorted out my groups by now, guys, but I haven't really needed them, to be honest. Uh, okay, it would have saved me a bit of time, but I just haven't really needed them. But even things like Enchant Weapon, Elemental Force, some of the old enchants that sell really well because they're good for leveling or whatever, I'm going to be making those as well. Anyway, look at all that. Uh, 56k cost with 120k profit. So literally putting in 50k and getting out pretty much 180k. Uh, sort of tripling my gold, which is awesome. Of course, if something is really overpriced, then I will not be buying it now, but hopefully we can make most of these at least. When you guys are buying stuff off the auction house, make sure you kind of if you see something really cheap, why not just buy out more of what you need and try sell the rest for for a normal amount, do a bit of flipping. It's a great technique to use. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I'm just using a TSM gathering. I presume most of you have Trade School Master, but if you don't, it's kind of the best add-on in the game. So I have done a video on it as well on my channel which you guys can check out. Still need to sort out my purchase macro on this character. But uh, I like being able to zoom in and out, so I always just have the scroller zoom in and out. Obviously on my bank character I have the scroll as the purchase and cancel macro because it's super useful. Don't know why Eternal Crystals have suddenly doubled in price. Someone's probably tried to reset it. I've tried to disenchant some of my useless purple gear. Okay, let's get crafting. So it's only actually three things that I can't make because it was too expensive. Uh, the Tome of Illusion Azeroth, I just need some Essence of Undeath. That's fine. I'll probably be able to buy those soon when the price goes down. Eternal Crystals, I don't know why this price suddenly doubled, but hopefully that will go back down soon I can buy it. And then the Outland Tomes just need the Primal Mana again, hopefully. That will go down soon. I could buy in trade chat, but I can't really be bothered. It's not a big deal. I can just keep the mats in my bags and make it another time. Do you guys ever forget things in your bank and then leave them there for years and then finally go and check your bank? I hardly ever use my bank. I mean, I use a guild bank on my bank characters sometimes, but that's about it. Now doing some blacksmithing crafting. Lots of this is... Uh much harder to get in terms of much slower to sell but if you guys want to know about 
crafting old world stuff, you just really have to look at the sale rate here. If you have trade skill master, so 0.01 is the lowest, means it sells super super slow, basically. But if it's above 0.1, say 0.003, that means it probably sells more than usual, which could suggest like it's a cool transmog or it's needed for some quest or something like that. And those are the ones you've got to look out for and try and sell more of. That's my top tip of the day. Particularly when it's like 0.005, I mean 0.05, that's, you know, going to be really, really good. So that's what I would suggest, but obviously use your common sense as well. Don't craft something that's super expensive to craft and you're not going to be able to sell it. Same with inscription, you know, have a look through some of the old inscription stuff. Like the glyphs can sell really, really quickly. Glyph of Stars is one of the fastest selling glyphs. Because it changes your appearance and it looks cool. If one wants a glyph of stars. Most of this stuff just isn't very profitable, but it's worth just making a few. On your server, some of these might be profitable and then it's worth doing. Anyway guys, that is that. We have an estimated cost of only 30k with a hundred K profit, which is really really good, but obviously most of this stuff will sell quite slowly. But still, it's good to get some stuff on the auction house, get some steady sales in. I think we're at that point of the expansion now. It's time to start using all the classic methods rather than just the new fancy methods of that are really popular and really profitable. You can start doing a bit of everything now. Anyway, let's get crafting these bad boys. I had to come all the way over to Legion land, the Broken Isles, to where even are we? High Mountain. Just to craft a couple of <laughs> Legion things. It's a bit annoying you have to make them over here, but anyway. Okay, let us do some crafting. Uh, lots of people ask why I craft like random inscription transmogs. Well, they actually do sell. Particularly stuff like Key to the Plains and some of the fans. I guess because they look kind of cool. But yeah, they do sell. So... If any of you have a sort of old level inscription, then make sure you are doing that. And of course, make sure you are crafting all the glyphs. I mean, the new glyph vendor, unfortunately, uses the uses those new inks, which are expensive. But I mean, you can usually just buy the inks off the auction house, the random inks, for fairly cheap. The annoying thing is on my leather worker, which is my main character, because I, I I got leather working on him this expansion. I don't have any of the old world stuff, so I need to go back and start crafting everything and learning it all. It won't take me too long, but it's definitely something I should do because some of the old leather working transmogs actually sold for quite a lot back in the day, at least. Okay, guys, I also did some engineering and tailoring. Did you see me do tailoring? Anyway, I did some engineering and tailoring gold making as well. There wasn't a lot to be made, but I found a couple of things, even like the flying carpets and stuff are selling for a profit. So it'd be interesting to see if they sell. Anyway, I thought we'd do a quick mailbox opening. Um, we have a lot of stuff on the auction now still, so it's not going to be looking amazing, but hopefully we'll have at least a few million gold. So in our first lot of mail, we have 630k. Uh, what have we sold? A load of different things, some load of Dark Moon decks, pretty much. I can't believe how many Dark Moon decks I've been selling recently, but they've all been selling well, so I've been happy with that. Just turn my sound on because I like hearing the sound of that money going into my bag. Uh, what else have we got? Some Tome of Illusions, some uh, more cards. Oh look, my flying, um, flying machine sold. <laughs> Am I auto adjuster? Oh, some engineering things have sold. How exciting. The Tome of Illusions are just such a steady seller. I probably should have been selling them for the past two weeks, but I got too excited with the Shadowlands stuff. But anyway, another 700k or something is coming in now. Uh, again, Time of Illusions, Dark Moon decks, more Dark Moon decks, some pigments, uh, more Dark Moon decks, all of that good stuff. 
I really would recommend checking the price of some of the old world stuff on your guys' servers just to see. Right, I've got another 700k coming in now, including oh, some of the Umber Hide stuff, so a few of the legendary things are coming through. I mean, it is Wednesday in uh, a couple of days, so then we should see even more legendary sales, so I might get some legendaries made and prepared for that. Uh, a load more decks. I think I made a few too many decks, whatever. Another 700k coming. And that's pretty much that, so... What else have we got? Still the decks, still everything else. 100k Umber Hide Leggings, that was a nice bit of profit on that legendary. And... Yeah, like I say, I've still got lots of stuff on the auction house which needs to sell. But at least I've got pretty much 300k. Oh, I must have taken that already. I mean, pretty much 3 million. 2.7. And another 2.4 million on the auction house, which would equal 5.2 or something when that all sells. So that is that guys, it's a bit annoying, I wanted to be able to say that I was at 5 million and I was halfway there, but uh, it's slowly coming through and I'm confident by next episode we should be there, particularly if the sales really come through on reset day. Uh, there won't be a video tomorrow because I am out at a work thing, but yeah, that'll give us two days to sell everything and then... Hopefully next episode will be halfway there and we can start really pushing all of the different ways to make gold. Uh, oh, and BOEs might be out, which is good. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see ya.